see, we're seeing it everywhere. Um, what we're seeing on like Instagram, all these things are just testimonials. All these people who are, who are so good that we were so excited about, um, every successful class is just mastering testimonials in person, online, social media, anything like that. It's just testimonials. And when someone comes to us, someone in our downline or prospect, and they say something like, how do I do this? When you share, it's just a testimonial. So sharing in general, no matter how you do that, is a testimonial. So I wanted to simplify it and really get us thinking outside of the box for testimonials. So um, first things first, we hear this all the time, but I'm going to say it. And y'all know I'm the science person. I love the science. But science tells, stories sell, OK? Your team, your prospects, your downline, someone you've enrolled, all of these people could be with 6 million other people and they're on your team. So they want to hear from you. They want to know what you are doing, someone they actually have access to, um, someone they can actually have conversations with. This is how we're going to word it. I do not want you only to think about social media while we are doing these testimonials. I want you also to think, if someone were to call me and say, how do I use, how do you use Super B? I want you to be able to say, I was doing this. Now I'm doing this. This was my result. So there were the, those are the three things I want you to think about when you're doing testimonials. Chelsea, I think you're muted. Have I been muted this entire time? No, just a few seconds. You're good. Okay, good. I was like, first of all, no one said anything. Let me ramble. Um, okay. <laughs> so I'm going to regroup. I'm going to go back 10 seconds because I don't know when I started. I don't want you guys to just focus on social media. Okay. I want you to be able, I want you to write these testimonials and think about these testimonials as you're talking in person and then transition to social media. Because if you're talking one-on-one -on -one or in person, those are really how you're going to touch people's hearts and honor the downline you already have. So that's what I really want to think, think about, okay? Not just social media wording. So we're going to do three things. When you are doing a testimonial, I want you to think of it as I was, now I am, this is my result. I was, now I am, this is my result. Um, and I was could be lots of different things. So for example, you can say, I was looking to save money on blah, blah, blah. I was um, curious about blah, blah, blah. I was, and then your, your next step, now I am. So for example, I was really curious about how I could support my endocrine system. So I talked to my enroller. I searched the group. Give a little bit of backstory when you're saying your I was. So if you are wanting, it's a, such a good spot to um, teach people how to educate themselves as well. Um, so for example, you can say, I was looking to support my hormones. So I messaged my sponsor and asked where I could get more information. I searched the Facebook groups. I, and these are all things that people can learn how to do as well. Then you would say, so your I was is saying, what what was missing it can be anything it can be health beauty i was using this product blah 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 i'm going to get into that in a second again and then now i am and tell what you're doing say this is the product i'm using this is how often i'm using it this is how i'm using it this is where i'm rolling it whatever whatever um that is going to give the actual lesson the now i am is going to give the actual lesson on a young living product that's your product education part. Um, but keep in mind, if people can't relate to your I was, they're not going to care about your now I am. So tell your story in the I was. Um, and this is, it can be anything. And, I, and we're going to get back to that in a second. Then your result. All right. Your result is kind of the hook. Because if your result sucks, no one cares. If you show a picture of a stained pair of pants and are like, I wanted a more natural option. I used this and it, there was no good result. No one cares. So you, but 
if on the flip, and I have this, Molly gets grass stains on her hands, like it's her business, like it's her job. And I have so many where it's, this is a grass stain. I was looking for a natural alternative grass stains. This is what I did with the thieves cleaner stain stick. Look at the results. And then people are going to be like, dude, I need that. But you got, you can't just do the now I am with no result. All right. So it has to be the three part. I was, um, now I am, and then this is the result. Um, and we're going to go into lots of different details about this, but that's the general overview. Um, I wrote these and I'm going to just read them really quick. Um, a couple of them, just so you guys can get an idea. And I wrote these for my team a little bit ago. Um, one, I was nervous to wipe down my baby's crib mattress because I didn't want him breathing in yucky cleaners. Now I use the thieves cleaner on his crib and mattress and feel confident putting him back in. The peace of mind is priceless. And then I have a picture of, you know, where his mattress needed to be cleaned a before and after where you're seeing the result. Super easy. I was hot in my son's baseball games. Now I'm using a few squirts of lavender and cooling spray to help keep me cool when I have to be outside. This makes the game so much more comfortable. So people want to be comfortable. Everyone's hot. All, sometimes, all these testimonials, sometimes. And then I did a money one. I was spending several hundred dollars a year on my beauty routine from the department store. Everyone can relate to that because especially women, they, they spend money on that. Nobody wants to be like, I love spending all this sort of money. Now I use my essential rewards points to order high quality skincare for free. I end up with quality products for free because Young Living rewards me with, through my orders. I was doing this, now I'm doing this and I'm saving money. This is, these are all the results. No, and you can expand. I expand all the time, but I wanted to show you, you can also do this in six sentences in a picture. Okay, so this doesn't have to be a super long thing. Word vomiting is why I want to, which is, I uh, did so bad. Like I am, if I could go back to where the messages I sent to people in 2015, 2016, mortified. They were like novels, okay? We don't want to do that. You can expand, okay? You can make it short and simple. You, I feel like everyone kind of got my message. Like if Kristen was like, hey, gosh, I'm super hot at my games. I'd be like, oh, I used to be really hot at my son's games too. I do this. This is, you know, you can make it short and sweet or you can make it a testimonial, but you have to include all the points. Okay, so in the event, I asked everyone to go back and look at their first three orders. Okay, what they ordered when they first joined Young Living. The reason I asked people to do that is when you create your testimonials, and I think this is a big mistake a lot of people make, they are not for you. They are not because it's a product you love and you use all the time. So it, it, they're not just for you. They're for the mindset of everyone on your team. They're for prospects. They're for new people who have no idea what's going on. Um, so a lot of times what I see is someone having one good testimonial and sharing it over and over and over and over. That's great, but it can't be your only testimonial because if I'm only talking about dragon time, none of the men or people who don't have an issue with that are ever gonna order. We have to create our testimonials to our audience. So the reason I wanted you to look at your first three orders is that's where you were when you first started. And I think it's a really good reminder to go back and think about what did I need when I started? Who was able to help me? What information kept me going? So my first order ever was the starter kit and Progressence Plus. So a testimonial that I, and we're gonna do this now in a minute. Um, what I want you guys to do is Take your first three orders and write a testimonial or two based on them, depending on your, you know, how long it takes you to do this. I want you to say, I was an in, why'd you buy it? Okay. So I can say, I was looking to support my hormones because I knew that I needed extra hormonal support. I asked my enroller what she recommended because I didn't know anything about essential oils and hormones at this point. She recommended Progressence Plus and sent me this information, okay? That was my I was. And then I can go into, now I use 
dragon time actually, which is interesting, but it's true. I use dragon time every single day and progressions plus probably three or four times a year. And that's, and then I can share my result with dragon time and progressions plus all mixed together. So my testimonial is I didn't know what I was talking about. I asked for help. As I learned more about oils, I branched off into a different, and now this is my regime. Is that the right word, regiment? Regiment, whatever, you know what I mean? Um, so my result doesn't, you see that I included extra products in my result um, because the more I learned, the more that normalizes. And this is why I want again, you to do your first three orders that normalizes not knowing everything. Include that you asked for help in some of your testimonials. Include that you researched in some of your testimonials because everyone has to start somewhere. Um, so what now I want you to do is go back to your first three orders, remind yourself of your mindset. Where were you when you first started Young Living? This will remind you, all right, I ordered the thieves cleaner because I wanted blah, blah, blah. Okay. So look at your very first thing. Try to word this. I would, I would encourage you to include where you got the ideas for your, these orders. Um, where did you learn how to do it? Edify the group, you guys. Edify what edify the community in these. Um, talk about how you learned to use them, use them. And then if you have a big aha moment, include that. If you don't have a big aha moment, it's, it could be something as simple as I wanted to drink more water, so I added lemon vitality. Now I realize how many great vitalities there are, and I'm able to use like expand. It's okay to it not be a big, huge thing. But be honest and talk to someone, talk like you're speaking to someone who's brand new, okay? Um, brand new would be either not a member or a brand new member. So for the next seven minutes, I would like you guys to do one or two testimonials. And I am going to call on someone, Wendy, I feel like I'm calling on you. Um, and one or two testimonials based off of your first orders. I would like you to start with this was include somewhere that was one of your first orders. Um, and I don't, I mean, if you've only been a member for three months, that's totally fine, but include it that it was one of your first orders. And I want you to have, I was now I am in your result. And you don't have to say the result was, but you do need to include that sort of as your close. Um, and obviously we're not going to stop and take pictures right now, but if this is something you want to share on social media later, we will go over how to beautify it at the end. We will go over and remind me how to beautify it for social media. So for the next seven minutes, I want you to work on testimonials, teaching about stuff in your first three orders. On your mark, get set, go.
Two minute warning. Okay, so Wendy, you're going first. Um, I would, if you didn't finish or whatever, you know, you can go back and do it later. I would actually love to hear some more of your stuff. Um, maybe we'll do one person per testimonial that we craft. Um, unless anybody's dying to, we can totally do more. Um, but Wendy, what was yours? Okay, so I had to rush. My hand is like cramped from writing so fast. Um, so weird to go back and look, but so my first thing that I was super stoked about, aside from my PSK, was the Thieves Household Cleaner. So I wanted to find a cleaning product that was um, not going to be toxic to my family and to my kids. All my kids had chores around my house except my youngest, and um, she couldn't really do anything because I didn't feel as though she would know not to touch something or breathe it in. Where my other kids, I'd be like, okay, scrub and run, okay? And... So we started using the Thieves Household Cleaner and not only did it work, but I think we cleaned better because they weren't running from the fumes and the smells, you know what I mean? And so, and I wasn't like, wear your gloves, do this, do that. And so we got better clean, right? But it smelled fantastic and we were healthy. So that has been our product that we have used for the past five years now. So it's amazing, six years. Um, do you wanna hear all three? Okay, next one. Um, for I was looking for um, a way to um, find better sleep. I had a lot of health issues and I was not sleeping. And so my second purchase, I had purchased um, more lavender because I loved it and chamomile and patchouli. And I made my own sleep roller, you guys. And um, it was amazing. I slept through the night and I haven't looked back. And so that is always going in my sleep roller. I won't, I die when they go out of the, out of stock with these things. All right. And my third one was wellness for my kids. My kids used to be in public school when they were young and they were sick all the time. And so I was looking for an alternative that would um, keep them above the wellness line rather than taking care of them while they, after they got sick kind of thing. And so I started using a roller made with thieves and oregano oil. And we have not looked back, you guys. We soar above the wellness line now. You know, obviously if we sneeze or anything, we know to use it, but often we don't even go that far anymore. So we soar far above the wellness line. Did I do okay? I was okay. just writing to make a note. So you, she did several things, which I absolutely loved. One um, I was looking for is great language for sort of compliance word gymnastics. And like, I, I hate to have to say that, but we do have to be compliant. So when you said you didn't, that's a really good way to do that. So I was looking for something to keep us above the wellness line. Instead of saying like, oh my gosh, I had to go to the doctor all the time and we blah, blah, blah. Cause we're not replacing medicine. So saying I was looking for a healthy way to is awesome. Um, I was looking for a natural cleaner is such a good way. All these things that, and I was looking for sleep. So I was looking for, especially in a private conversation is super relatable, super clear, and is not going to take everybody's time. Okay. You shared what you wanted in a quick story. And I think that was perfect. Um, I also really, really liked the sleep one because you shared a recipe. So 
I looked back before we did this call, I looked back at my old, <laughs> my old orders and my old posts. You guys have to swear you're not going to do this in our group from 2015. 90% of my orders were recipes other people suggested. Okay. So Wendy going to, to her community or her friends, or I know you do great with public or um, in-person events to say, okay, guys, this is what I made. It worked. They're going to not only get those three oils, but they're going to be able to get their hands on the oils, use them. Now they'll know how to make a roller for anything else. So when anything else comes up, you have told them from the beginning, you were making rollers. You weren't just popping stuff in your diffusers. You were putting your oils on topically. And these are all kind of little mindset things that people don't think about. Because a lot of people get their oils, they put them in the diffuser, and then they're scared to use them. They don't use them again. You said, when I wanted it, I did this. I made a roll on. I used it. We never looked back Was is gold. I love that language for, we still do that. We never looked back, I think is, is a really positive way to say we do that all the time without kind of being like, and don't, I do that. I'm like, don't forget, you gotta use it every day. Like we never looked back is, I think is great. So keeping these little nuggets, she shared her recipe. She shared that she's been doing it continuously. She shared why. I think that those were, were, were perfect. You guys, these, we're all gonna have different products we started with. When we first joined However, we're all going to have different products, but sharing why you started. If you're ever going, I'm not really relating to my members. Go back to orders from years ago and think what was your mindset then and craft your stories that way. Okay. I think it would be a really fun challenge to do sometime to do all of us do testimonials for the groups based on our very first orders outside of the PSK, because our mindset is when you're, I don't know about y'all, but like. I could not care less about a supplement when I first started. I never took them, did not care, whatever. But now I'm like, Joe and I both are like, we need 48 supplements because they're good and we've used them. So looking at our mindset, like how are we educating through our testimonials about all of these different products when we, most of us just started with oils, okay? So going back to where we very first started and like maybe big transition phases in our lives are great places to grab testimonial ideas. The next thing I want us to work on, and I really believe this will change your business if you really do this, what have the promos been the last three months? How many of you can honestly say that you have shared about, you have shared a personal testimonial privately in the group, whatever, about the promos from the last several months. Young Living gives hundreds and hundreds of dollars of free things away. We do giveaways as a team as well. So that's another thing to look in. If Tracy's doing a giveaway and we're all eligible for it, or Ashley or me or whoever, teach about those because you want people to want them. Peace and Calming is the 300 PV this month. I mean, Everybody wants peace and calming, but like, what about the other stuff? Aromaceous is my jam. I absolutely love it. But if I haven't shared about it, are other people going to love it too? I looked, um, I was talking to Hallie actually about how to use the promos this month. And I looked back and last time it was a Good promo. Night. I did a testimonial on it. So I was able to, to bump that. But you guys, teaching not this, just this month, but the last three months promos, all of them is so if someone, let's say Wendy bought all is, is a newer member and did 300 PV, she worked it out. She budgeted, she cut other places so that she could get the 300 promos and no one taught her how to use them. How often do you think she's going to buy the 300 PV promos again? But if she trusted us to educate her, got the 300 PV promos and we as a community or you as her sponsor helped her use the money, the promos with the money she spent, she will trust you to go, okay, Kristen, you're my sponsor. I got all these promos. How do I use them? We do not want people to feel like they're wasting their money or we're hyping these promos for not a good reason. We love them. We use them. If you don't know what they are, 
go to your sponsor and go, hey, how do I use this? Search the groups to figure it out. But we have to be educating on current and past promos so that we're honoring the money that people have already spent. We really understand that that's super, super valuable. So for the next um, cycle of testimonials, I want you to go through this month's promos and do one testimonial. If you don't have one, that is okay. Then I want you to message your sponsor and go help me learn the promos. We need to get into a habit of, of you can't, one of the things I teach my team is you have to do, help people make promo level orders. Every single month, you should be helping your team make promo level orders. And if it's not a promo level order, or if you don't know the promos, you can't say you're $20 away from Aroma Seas. I really think you could benefit from Aroma Seas because blah, 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 blah. Um, but if you're like, I don't know what that is. Mm, no one's, if you don't know and you're not excited about it, no one else is going to care. If you're newer and haven't had the experience, go to your sponsor, go to your business chat and say, hey, can we team up? I need to figure out how to use this. Every single oil that is, or every single product that is a promo. As a biz, serious business builder, you need to know front, back, upside down, inside out so that you can honor the money that your team is spending and help them use it. Okay. So we're going to do two in the next seven minutes. We're going to do two testimonials, one on the promos this month. And then I want you guys to go back and pick a promo from last month or one of the last three months and educate on that. Okay. And all of these guys, I want you to be funneling later, either into following up when you follow up with members, you can go, Hey, I saw you bought the promos last month, I want to help you use them. Or you can use these as follow-up. You can use this as product education um, for your teams. You can use it in your Facebook groups. You can use it at classes, whatever you feel like doing, but take the information and the testimonials you're making and plug them in somewhere. All right. So for the next seven minutes, we're going to work on two testimonials, one from this month's promos and one from some promo that you really liked in the past um, three months. And remember, you need to say, I was now I am, this is my result. Questions, concerns, and I'm calling on somebody when you're done. All right, go.
two minute warning. Okay, I, I got a little sidetracked on time. It might be a minute early. We're all right. Um, Kristen, can I call on you? Do you know how to mute? There you go. Yeah. 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 Okay. Sorry, okay. my is sleepy next to me. So, um, so I chose peace and calming because I'll just read here. I'll just read it to you. Okay. So before oils. I had a super fussy baby who um, was overstimulated and just needed, he was just crazy and fussy and could not calm down. And I used peace and calming on him and it was a game changer. He was calm and he could listen again and he could focus. And I will never not use peace and calming on my kids. And now four kids, three kids later, um, I still use peace and calming in all my kids and I have the same result for all of them. And it is amazing. It's a game changer in my house. How'd I do? <laughs> Good. I'm, uh, uh, so I like the language with the, the overstimulated because that every parent can, every single parent can, uh, can get with that, you know? And so picking like language like that, even if it's unintentional, it's connecting with them because you, like, you're not being like, you know, it's not a medical thing. You're not saying your kid is badly behaved, but every kid gets overstimulated, you know? So I, I think these kind of connections with, you know, parenting or health issues and, and medical sleep, all those type of things, our language is super important. And notice with your testimonies, you need to say I, we, he, and you're using actual examples of humans. Those are gonna touch a lot more hearts than I heard this is great. Someone I once heard of, you know, or like, don't get me wrong. You guys know I'm obsessed with the science, but this does this, 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 and this versus like this calm, this is calming and blah, blah, blah versus my child was overstimulated. I applied it. This was the result. So even if you have a product or an oil or a supplement or something, changing the language to showing what it did for you and then maybe some fun facts or some product facts that are great afterwards, kind of like an afterthought, I think is a really, really good idea because we want to connect to people as humans. We also want, now I know that if I feel like one of my kids is overstimulated, I can go to Christina and say, hey boo, what do you do? And like, we want everyone on our team to be able to look at us and go, okay, she shared about this. I can't remember what she said. I need you, I know, but I know it was Christina. Hey, Christina, what did you use for this? And how often do we do that in our groups? You know, we see a, something where we're like, oh, Rachel's really good at that or Ashley's really good at that. And we're able to go back and connect with as humans and then share the testimonials again. So I think you did super bomb. You did great. Um, does anybody else? Kristen, do you want to share one of yours? Thank you, Christina. You're the best. Also, can't believe how big True's getting. And it stresses me out because he's so close in age to Max and he looks huge. And I'm like, no, that means Max is getting big. Don't do that. Okay. Um, I did one about citronella. Um, so I'm an outdoor outdoorsy girl. And I come the hotter months, I am always outside or at the lake. Um, I had 
no problem using citronella candles to keep the bugs away but like i'm seriously not a bug girl at all i hate them um <laughs> but after having my son I take him everywhere with me and I'm not going to have a burning candle on a table or anything like that. He runs around like crazy. He's on everything. So, yeah. um, I won't have that. I actually have, I got citronella for free the last time that it was a pr promo, the 15 milliliter bottle. And I have a, um, portable diffuser. So I just take that everywhere with me and I keep the bugs away. It gives me peace of mind for my son and I love it. It's great. So obsessed that you threw in a safety thing because do y'all know, and, and I don't know if you know this or not, but Jen actually only signed up because she didn't want candles. She didn't want Tegan pulling down candles. Like, and Jen and I have been friends for 17 years and I, she didn't like, she liked all my stuff, didn't care, didn't care until she had a kid and didn't want candles. This is a, like, that is a mom thought, like, I don't want my kid pulling down fire. So throwing that in of your piece and your, like your reasoning, cause that doesn't have anything to do with them at this point with like anything else besides like the fire and safety thing. And then it's getting people's heads thinking, okay, well that's, I guess I don't need it in my house either. She's right. You know, not just outside candles are not just outside on the thing there. This is a whole different home thing. And how many homes have candles and toddlers? You know, so this is, this is, even if someone never goes outside, I do like that you said, I'm an outdoor girl. You told a little bit about yourself without like, you know, making it super long and boring, which I was so bad at and probably still am. Y'all know I ramble, um, bad about that. But like, you told a little bit about yourself, how you, what you were doing, why you wanted to switch. This is what's working now. So the other thing she did, which I had mentioned earlier that I like, I don't even know if she did it. She mentioned a portable diffuser. We have portable diffusers. So what she could do is say, you know, in her picture, do the little, I don't even remember what the portable diffuser is called. I was just called the portable one, but have that with her thing, you know? And, and then there's two products now. Guess what guys, soon we're gonna be able to do bundles. And so if someone goes to her and is like, okay, I need, I, I don't wanna be outside with that too. She can make a bundle with the portable diffuser and the citronella there you go, you know? And so it's offering solutions to a problem that I feel like so many people have. Um, again, like, and I know we had already talked about, you, we've got to, we've, every, I feel like every leader needs to do at least one post a month about the promos of sometime in the past three months. Um, if you consider yourself a business builder, you want people ordering the promos. And so educating and honoring them that way, I think is super vital. The other thing I really want to kind of factor in with that, if there are new products, those need to be educated on just like the promos because we, it's a trust thing in my opinion, um, where if we're like, we're so excited about these new products and then we never talk about them again, then now then we're obviously not that great. But if we are so excited, and I know about y'all, like, I'm like, stocking my boxes. I'm so excited. We have new stuff, but if we get people excited about new products and then we never teach them, are they going to care next time we say that there's a big, there's a new product thing? Probably not. So think about, um, products, new products, um, that have been probably like, I would say last six months, ER stuff. And if you've done a giveaway, or you've encouraged anyone in your team to participate in a giveaway from your upline, help them use that. If you know that your friend or downline got a rose roll on from Kelly, let her know how to use the rose roll on because she worked her butt off or came to a class or enrolled three people to get something. We want them to love it so that next time, well, one, we feel like their, their effort they made the effort to do it and it was worth it. But then next time when you're like, hey, Tracy's doing a giveaway, if you enroll three people, if they're like, hey, last giveaway I didn't really use, nobody helps me use it, I don't even know what it is, I forgot about it, blah, blah, blah. They're not gonna be super inclined to participate in the next type of promotion, okay? It's all right if you didn't win it, it doesn't really matter. You're working, you're thinking about your downline. So when you're thinking about your testimonials, the next thing I want you to, like I said, giveaways, new products from Young Living, promos. Those are something, a different category that you can do. Um, the last one that we're gonna work on tonight 
is something you barely use. And I know that sounds like a weird thing to do a testimonial on. Hold on. I have, I feel like Jen talked about this on one of our products you never hear about call. And that's why I got it back out. But like this, the, I don't even know how to say it, Teresa and Ashley, Reginolone, that doesn't sound right. Definitely not choppy like that. Anyway, whatever this is, I don't use it that often. And someone talked about it at one of our classes and I was like, well, dang, I really need that. And so I got it out and now I'm using it. Okay. So we can talk and don't, do not get me wrong. We really want people to use the basics, super B ninja, blah, blah, blah. But Young Living has so many awesome, random off the wall things. So to to pepper those in, um, one, because if someone bought it, we want to make sure they're using it. Two, it can get a little boring to hear about the same 15 products over and over and over and over. We want it to be in people's minds. Like, well, I got off ER because I don't really use, I have 19 lemons and I don't really use ninja, whatever it is. We can honestly say, well, we got 800 products. Have you heard of? Boop. You know, and for someone who doesn't care about oils, they can use this, 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 and this, but they don't know we have this, 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 and this, if we're not teaching about this, 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 and this. So we need to craft testimonials about things that you don't know what it is. You barely use it, things like that, because that is a market too, okay? We don't only want to focus on 15 of the 800 products, all right? So I want you to think about something you order or that you have that you barely, barely use or like have, haven't used that often. And if you could, wouldn't be a call with me if I didn't drop something. Um, if you, it can even be something you, you haven't opened. So maybe what you'll do for the next six minutes is you will look and research an oil you have that you haven't opened. Okay. Then start using it. And in five days, you'll have a testimonial. Okay. So this will all go back to when someone comes to you and goes, well, I got off ER because I wasn't using, and you can say, I felt like that once too, but then I realized we have blah, 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 blah. And, and it's, it's so much more than oils and it's so much more than supplements. But you have to be versed in those areas too. So the next, I'm going to say five minutes, um, because we're running low on time. I want you to Think of a product, oil, whatever that you almost never use. And if you don't have a testimonial on it, spend the next several minutes researching on it. And then over the next five days, I want you to use it every day and come up with your own testimonial. So five minutes. It's not real demanding and not, that was not my intention, but five minutes.
All right. I forgot to check what time we started. So um, also I spent my time looking up the stuff on this cream again and it's like smooths, fine lines and wrinkles, decrease aging. We all need this. Supports some sun damaged skin, dryness, tightens pores. We all need this. We don't talk about this enough. See, there's all these things that you're like, you don't talk about it enough. Wendy, I'll show you that's this. Girl, you don't need anything for your skin though. Whatever you're doing already is absolutely perfect. Um, Hallie, what you got, boo? You know, your camera's off. There you go. Hold on, can you hear me? Sorry. Yeah. Um, okay, so I, it, that was kind of hard because I feel like I do a really good job at using the stuff that I've ordered other than the oils. Like I have some oils that I don't use that much, but I didn't want to pick an oil because I feel like there's just so many that people probably have a ton. So I wanted to pick a product. So I chose the um, Thieves Aroma Bright toothpaste. And the reason why I originally ordered that is because I wanted to have a, just a cleaner toothpaste to use for my family, for Jack and I. And then I also wanted just better oral care in general, because at the time I was using like Crest. I'm um, sorry. Did, As your best friend, I have to say, is it because you don't brush your teeth? Is that why you <laughs> just want to tease you so bad? Wait, what? Is it what? Because you said you don't use it. So I want to say, is it because you don't brush your teeth? No, girl, I brush my teeth all the freaking time. But it's only because I... You're my best friend. I love you. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Come I on. thought you were going to say you couldn't hear me. So, so I was like, no, I'm looking yeah. my headphones out. No. Um, okay. So <laughs> no, I promise. I mean, but when you sleep next to me in Florida, I'll be sure to breathe on you and you can tell me whether or not I brush or not. Um, okay. Sorry. So I want to like just cleaner oral care in general. And so I got the Thieves of Roma Bright and I did not love it. I was like, about the taste and it was the first time I'd switched to like an all-natural toothpaste anyway because again I was using like crest or something so I was like Whoa. so it sat on my shelf forever for like months in the meantime I asked the groups and I think I asked you so everybody like ask a roller ask your sponsors um which one do they recommend and everybody said to get the whitening one which I absolutely loved like I thought that one was so fabulous it tasted good it foamed loved it the thing was, is I didn't want to just have my Thieves of Rimber Bright sit on the shelf because I mean, I paid money for it. So I'm like, you know, I'm not going to use this. It's horrible. So I started researching into other ways I could use it and realized that people were using it as a deodorant. And at first I was like, that is like the hippiest, dippiest, weirdest thing I've ever heard. Like what? And then I gave it a try. It was blown away. And now I use it as my deodorant. I mean, I love, I also use the Young Living deodorant. So I like swap them all out. But that one is a miracle worker. And it's just so weird because it's a toothpaste and people should be putting it in their mouth. But I use it as a deodorant. And it's especially with like all the postpartum night sweats and hormones and everything. I'm like extra stinky. So I use the Thieves Aroma Bright as my deodorant. I'm not ashamed to say it. I remember at the first time I was in, Tracy and I were in Vegas. And she was like, here, here. And I was like, girl, you are out of your mind. And then, but it, it works. So a uh, one thing you did about your testimonial that I like is, and I remember hearing April Corner say this, is we do not have to like every product. It is not our job to like every single product. So I like that you were like, I found an alternative use um, because I think that that's relatable to people, um, you know? So, and also when you didn't really like it, you offered an alternative. And I don't think you noticed this, but you're like, it foams. That's the only one that really foams. And I've noticed a lot of people when they switch, they still want the foaming. So that's important, I think, as well, when you're like, I, you know, if you were going to make your testimonial to say, I need a foaming toothpaste and the Thieves Aroma Right, it doesn't foam. And so I just wasn't going to work for me. So I found a different way to use it. I use this one, that foam. So you're letting people know Young Living does have a foaming toothpaste. So you did, you know, include that and then you offered an alternative. So nailed it. I love it. And I would also, I would, I would definitely use those. It's felt hippy dippy. You threw your emotions in there, you know? Yeah. And so like, it, we giggled at it, but it's true. And like that people relate to that. And if you look at the Instagram and stuff, testimonials or the, our Facebook groups, the ones that get the most traction are ones that have casual language and just are fun. And so you being like, you're out of your mind, this is hippy dippy. Like those are the type of posts that people are gonna laugh with and relate to. So good job. 
And good job brushing your teeth. Um, Tracy, did you have one you wanted to share? Yeah, I got one on Ellerzyme. I thought this is a really good prompt because I feel like it's super authentic, right? To feel like, you know what? I haven't tried any, everything, right? Like, or I was skeptical. Um, so I think this is a really good one, but um, this is my story is I am lactose intolerant. Um, I can handle a little bit of dairy, like a little bit of cream in my hot tea or a little bit of cheese on my pizza, but like a bowl of ice cream. I mean, it's like a nightmare. It'll send me straight to the bathroom. Um, digestive <laughs> issues, it's terrible, right? Um, and usually this is the telltale sign for me is I'll break out. That's just the telltale sign that my gut is out of balance is I'll break out. I wish I could go talk to the teenage version of myself and tell me, tell myself like what to avoid, but you know, you just don't know back then. So I had heard about Allerzyme. I've known about Allerzyme for years, um, but really had never really used it, right? Like I was using essential zyme and some of the other um, digestive enzymes, but then I was on an oily underground call. And someone had said that they used it and it really had helped with blemishes. And I was like, say what, what? I like, I get it right. Digestive stuff. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to try this out. And it was pretty amazing. Like, especially like that time of the month, this is where I usually sort of get it. Or again, if I have some cross contamination or have dairy, I feel it. I mean, then I started like delving in and looking at what Allerzyme did. And I was like, oh my gosh, it has lact lactase in it, which helps to break down the lactose. And so it just kind of forced me into going and looking to see like what else it could do. And I was really floored. I just like, couldn't believe it, that it really helps to break down, you know, the dairy proteins, I, you know, eat lots of protein, um, grains. So it was really good. So now I'm taking it every morning before breakfast and I've got my teenage son taking it as well. Who's also dealing with breakouts, just like I did when I was his age. Um, but he also loves dairy. So now we're like, we love our Allerzyme. So, um, that's, that's kind of like something that we never had really taken a look at before, but it was like through the grapevine, we had heard it from someone else. I'm like, Oh my gosh, this stuff is amazing. So two things. One, I like how you did the connection. So I got it for this look what I look what it ended up helping with, because I think it's just such a good reminder to everything's connected, you know, and like taking care of one thing is another. Also big fan. You said you heard it on an oily underground that's going to plug people to go. Okay. Well, I mean, that sounds like a bomb thing. What's the oily underground or, Oh, I need to be more intentional about going to the oily underground, like plugging people into where you're going to get this bomb skin blemish allowed to eat dairy information. Like we all know how great the oil and bread is, but like kind of throwing trinkets like that in like, oh, on our team call or, oh, at our team event or whatever. I think that that's really, really, yes. So promoting that we have this exclusive thing is going to be really good for, you know, advertising really, it, you know, and getting attention that way. Um, also, we hear it all the time. People are like, well, I need more information on this. Then go to the Oily Underground. Like it's one hour, twice a month. I think, again, most, you have to at least listen to the replay if you don't go, but I really think everyone should be going. Um, I found myself when you were sharing, wanting to be like, oh, I need to share this. Like talking, so like the your language of it helped me, it helped blah, blah, blah. But the science girl in me liked that you said also, I ended up digging into why, and it just sort of reminds us that we have all of these products that if we don't pay attention to what's actually in them and do some research, even if it's just one by one on the supplements, then we don't know what we're missing. We had a member, a very loyal member who does a really good job, um, like paying attention to stuff, asked yesterday why Young Living didn't make a DNK together. And we do, and it's super Cal plus, but the, she would have no way of knowing because it's not, it doesn't say that in, you know, it's not super obvious, you know, it looks like a calcium supplement, but I just, I take super Cal plus for the DNK together. Plus with the calcium, it makes it you, it's good for your body to take the calcium with the D. Um, and so I knew that. And, but if I didn't, you know, 
digging in. And it, a lot of this stuff is just not obvious just by the titles. So having that testimony where she's advertising an event we had, telling how she had to dig in to really figure out why, et cetera, all those things are gonna be really, really helpful. You wanna, and I don't mean this in any sort of way, but your goal as a leader is to, if you had to leave, your team could continue to function well without you. So plugging the oily underground, telling people where they can find resources, telling people how to educate and all those stuff, if something happens and you have to walk away for a while and you need a season, you have a baby, your kid has brain surgery, and then your team continues to thrive, you know, but you have to set them up for success. So throwing these little things into your testimonials, I think is, is going to be extremely valuable. Um, and I think we're going to close with Wendy had pine. And then I have a, cute, a couple little tips on advertising for these, but go ahead, Wendy. Okay. Huh. I haven't worked on being compliant about this one, but. Wait, let me say super quick. Molly's favorite oil in the world is pine. She's obsessed. <laughs> Amazing. So you can throw that in there. Okay. I will throw that in there. So pine is really good for our immune system. It's really good. It's a, it's an anti-inflammatory. So again, I'm not compliant yet on this, but for those of us who are concerned about other people being vaccinated and there's this transmission happening, this is really good as a barrier. Mm, I mean, as wrong word, barrier is not a good word, but it helps to build this up, okay? It's like putting a, another t-shirt on without putting a t-shirt on, okay? And so I've been putting this on everybody in my family. We put a drop of pine on our head every day, but if I'm gonna be around someone, I'm like putting it on because I'm a teacher. And so I have a lot of parents who have been. Um, and I don't wanna push people away. I, I you know, my, 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 my trust is in Jesus, but it's not, you know what I mean? But I, I believe that we need to be protective of ourselves, right? I don't, I'm trying to watch my words, y'all. Um, so yes, my family has like purchased a crap load of pine lately because, um, it's incredibly affordable and it's incredibly easy to use. It smells fantastic. And it has so many, there's so many benefits, you guys. So, um, so that's my word on pine, you guys, it's amazing for inflammation. It's great for muscle owies. It's great for, um, oh, good grief. What was I finding? Hold on. I was literally just on your basic. I was on a Dr. Axe thing because I loved how he had a little pop-up like this that talked about pine oil. Now I wouldn't put Young Living next to that because he claims a lot of stuff. So if I did this on an, like a social media, I would just post him, his saying, right, right. But I wouldn't put my Young Living stuff next to it because it makes too many um, claims. But check it out, cleanses the home of bacteria, fungi, pathogens, yeast. That's why we have pine salt, right? That junk. Kills the odor and purifies the air. It decreases inflammation. It decreases allergies. It fights free radicals through the presence of antioxidants, including the polyphenols. It treats and um, helps achy muscles and it energizes and lifts your mood and focus. Hello, we all need that, right? So it's like a disguised superhero. And it's like 20 bucks a bottle or less. Okay. So superhero on, right? So obviously a lot of that was not compliant, but I do yeah. think what you, you could say a lot of things about one, all the emotional aspects Two, I like that you called a superhero in a bottle, you know, and, and just to sort of say, I'm looking when I feel like I need another layer of protection in my wellness I'm saying regimen again. And I'm like, oh, don't do a regime. Regimen is it the same regimen? Joe says regimen. Um, um, yeah. And so just say, if I feel like I need another layer of protection in my wellness arsenal, I love that pine is so affordable. I also love that it in the same bottle, I'm supporting my emotions. I'm supporting my, I forget, did you say joints? So I'll never throw that in there. Um, and never say anti. 
We're going to go ahead and don't do anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, anti blah, blah, blah. And don't do any of those. Um, but good on you. And I, you might've been the first person tonight to do it. It's affordable. Okay. So we can throw these in and like, I mean, a lot of this stuff really, really is affordable, but when we really want as customer service representatives, which is like this is so lame to say, but it's true. We want to honor people's money. Okay. Because I would rather someone spend 50 PV a month for 20 years than 300 PV and then feel like they weren't getting their money's worth. So when we honor people by helping them use the promos, helping them use anything they've earned, um, all these things like that, they're feeling like they are, it's money well spent. So you giving alternatives at a budget friendly option is going to make the person who really only has $50, $50. Cause some people really only have $50. It is not our call. We want to educate, encourage, blah, blah, blah. But some people only have $50. So if someone only has $50, they can get pine and they're going to feel good that they have a 15 ml bottle, their arsenal's growing, blah, blah, blah. So if you feel like something super affordable, say it. Be like, I love that I was able to get this because it's super affordable. Um, one of the ways that I try to do that is to, when I cash in ER points, I, I am kind of strategic about look at everything I got for free. I like to get as much as I can with my ER points for free so that everyone can see like, for real, look at everything I just got and it was for free. Um, so I, I am strategic about that. But you're talking about it, it works with this, 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 and this and it's affordable. So I, I think, I think it's fair to, to be really intentional about steering people into really affordable options, because then they can, you don't want everyone to be like, it's too expensive. Like, mm, you just don't know what you're doing then because I'm saving more money now. Don't let me go to Target. Cause I will walk out with everything in the girl section for real, half of the things in the boys section. And then one cleaner I came with, you know I mean? So like, you're you, being intentional about that, I think is, is really good. Okay. So unless anyone else wants to say anything, which you're totally fine, I do want to give a couple of tips on all of this. Um, one, this is something that I learned at a rally in Charlotte that I spoke at and it was a crown diamond. And she said, what she did was she got a notebook and she wrote out six testimonials in it or a posts or testimonials in advance. So if she was ever in a situation where she wanted to just plug and play, like she was busy, but she wanted to add value to her team's group or her uplines group or social media, whatever, she had six left. She had six out and, and she didn't just wing it every day. So when you're thinking, you just did four tests, at least four testimonials just now you did. So you can perfect them. Work smarter, not harder. If you have 10 minutes, dig through yourself, find an oil you haven't used, a promo from a couple months ago, whatever, a new product, and write something down on it. And then when it's time, I actually do it in a note section of my phone so I can copy and paste. When it's time that's for you to post, throw it up. And then you're 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 not going to be in a situation where your kid has a fever, you're just tired and you're not adding value to your social media or to your group. Also, when you're right, when you're typing things into the group, so let's say Kristen is obsessed with me because she is and we're BFF and I love her. And she wants to post in Happy Lover Oily, write the name of the product so that if some, be sure, it's like, don't just say, I love this. Then when no one's gonna type this in the search box. So let's say she did Super Cal Plus, make right out, vitamin D, vitamin K, blah, blah, blah. If you were going to search for that product and you didn't know it was there, what would you put? Emotion, lavender, we're gonna put sleep, emotions. So being like vague looking all over the place for cute language is not gonna help when people are searching the group, okay? So include things like sleep, emotions, wrinkles, beauty, um, energy, you know, common words, try to pepper them in, um, so that 
for the next 15 years, when someone searches needs to know where to get a vitamin D, they know they can also do Super Cal Plus. Okay. Um, so be intentional about your search language. If you were searching for it as a brand new person in their first three months of ordering, which we talked about before, what would you search in the group? So be intentional about that. Um, pictures. I, I don't think anyone on this call does this, but move the trash out of the way. Everyone has a book well, except Tracy has a corner in their house that is just like there's trash and like move it out of the way before you take your picture. Um, open the windows, try to take it in a natural light. Y'all, it is mortifying the pictures that I have in my group. And I share them in our, in our team page very frequently. I'm like, oh, I, I got to silver with this awful picture. You know, so like, it's not all about the pictures, but it does add a sense of professionalism. You can get the light app for Lightroom app for free, pick a filter, edit your pictures that way. Um, I personally, and I think a lot of people do, if there's an option for a before and after picture, that's gonna catch a lot of attention. If you are about to, you know, Tracy did this yesterday on her stories and I was, it was like 2 a.m. and I'm nursing or pumping. And I was like, you look so bang. And like, you know, she had a before and after picture of with the um, boho Botox thing. And like, it was really visible, but it can be anything. It can be, I've done before and after pictures of, of stains. I've done before and after pictures of, of like bug bites. And I mean, and Michelle did that one today. Um, if it's not a before and after, try to show your face as much as you can. I'm not great at this. I'm working on it. Um, but if you enroll someone or they're, you're their sponsor, you're their closest upline, you're in their downline, we want to cater to people who were their very first connection. Okay. So while this is not ideal, I do want to talk about it. Let's say someone in your level four has no one active in between you are their connection they and they, they've never met you but it's just like that happens you know we all have people in our downline that we don't really know and they were placed under us and we thought someone was going to do the business and they didn't whatever you have to find ways to let all these people know who you are as a person so they're comfortable contacting you so adding your picture to things and your personal testimonial i was doing this I, I'm an outdoorsy person. I, whatever, all these different things are going to let them get to know you through social media, which is so possible and feel comfortable contacting you. So if possible, um, show a picture of the product because it makes it really easy to search. If you've never seen this and you, and I'm talking about this and you think it's an oil, you might be looking for oils instead of creams. Show a picture of the product, show your face, Lightroom app, move the trash. Um, and that's all I have for tonight. I hope it was really helpful. I want to reiterate that these are, if you use the, I was now I am and the result, I, I want you to use these in private conversations as well. And no, just focus on social media. I definitely feel, I mean, everyone needs to be contributing to the team pages and stuff, but, um, as you're, as you're working on your authenticity and you're working on all these different things, when you're talking to your team members privately, they're going to build trust in you if you know what you're talking about. Um, also, it's so duplicatable. So if Kristen's talking to someone in her downline, whether she enrolled them or not, and is saying, I was, now I am, here's my result, they're going to hear that language and be able to do it for their downline um, because and so it's, it's really, really duplicatable. So think about your neighbors when you're talking, when they're asking questions, your mom, when she's still on the fence and your downline. So try to work these into private conversations as well as social media. Um, Cause some of us thrive private, some of us thrive on social media and you gotta be good at both. So um, we did go 15 minutes over and I'm sorry, but I do hope this was helpful and I love you guys and thank you for coming. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was fantastic. You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. I'll see you in two weeks. Yes. Bye.